Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the palace garden, but it feels so cold and icky. It's like some it's like time stopped here. We gotta do something about those chain chomps in the middle if you wanna move on. Yeah, that's right. I don't mean just the moving ones. Oh? Really now? I'll I'll tattle those a little bit later. But for now, check out these chain chomps. See that right there? These these right here, yeah. Why don't you get out, Bobbery? And throw it in the gullet. Run! Actually, you don't get hurt by the explosion. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go down. And now we're in the background. I don't think there's anything to the left. Yeah, the pillar just stops you. It's just uh, a, a rather wide background area. And opening that gives you a boat panel. I should say, uh, uh, hitting that switch opens up the thingy mabob that gives you, and then he gives you a boat panel. And I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything over there. Is it possible, just for the fun of it, can I go underneath this bridge? Never tried that before. No, it's not, but it sure looks like you can go under there. All right, I'm just messing around here. Um, let's get the tattle for these chomps. These have a lot of defense. A lot of defense. I think it's like five defense, actually. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> tattle, chain chomp. Let's hmm? chain chomp. I hate to get chopped by those teeth. They look nasty. Act HP is seven, attack is six, and defense is five. Its body is hard, so most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire and ice attacks. You can freeze it, though. Luckily, it has low HP, so you could take it down with a special move for an item. Chomp Chomps are, like, so super pumped all the time. Don't they ever get tired? I guess not. <laughs> um, should I bother battling these, or should I just run? I mean, you can pretty much know the strategy of defeating Chain Chomps just by the... Way you've battled other chain chomps at this point in the game. Uh, wait, what you got? Oh, coin. Gimme, gimme. Mmm, coin. I eat coins. Wait, what? Um, let's see. I was thinking, should I use like a, a whack a bump just to sort of kind of sustain my health? I mean, <laughs> well, not health, my uh, stats. I mean, what I was thinking of is uh, there really isn't all that many healing blocks in this place, and that's pretty annoying. In fact, maybe there's no healing blocks. I don't, I don't really remember. No, wait, there's a healing block on the other side of this fountain. It's just that they're very infrequent. I'm just, yeah, trying to think of where the heck they are. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to run. Yeah, there's a healing block right there. I just remembered that. Yeah. Uh, Oh, all right. There we go. Cost 10 coins, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, there's another chain chomp over there. Well, a chomp statue over there. Uh, the boat panel that I opened up is right here, and you already seen the the statue that it came from um, when I went. I mean, went in that little cutscene. So I... my finger twitched. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Anyway. Mm, it's one HP loss. Just go over there, please. Thank you. I'll battle them in a second with um, Yoshter. He's like, oh wait, I, I actually need Bobbery out first. <laughs> Can't blast this without the Bobbery. There we go. You don't have to have Bobbery go all the way inside of that, as you've seen there. I just wanted to show how far you can make him go inside that before, I guess. <laughs> all right, and. Oh. Pressing that switch gives you another boat panel, and that's how you get over to the other side. Uh, inside there is quite the trial, actually. It's full of like eight individual puzzles. Um, okay, Yoster. Now, chain jump, chain jump. Wow. Why did I bother striking first? <laughs> Well, I suppose if I didn't, it would have um, first struck me because chain chomps have that way. Eh. Oh wow, there's three of them. <laughs> How about I do this? 
I think this will do some... Not if I fail it. <laughs> Not bad. I wonder if I should be doing super guards. Well, maybe not. Mm. Yeah, the Zap Tap badge is doing just a little teensy bit of damage extra to these Chain Chomps, which is why I'm getting the kills off that. And level up! Yeah! And I have not been taking advantage of my badge points, have I? Those extra three badge points that I got. Uh, yeah, did not really utilize them. Um. I guess. Hmm, HP. Yeah! There we go. Oh! A bigger stage! Coming next battle! Oh! Laggy. Because there was. Was it because there was that many coins or something? I don't know. Oh. Uh, on. What's my stats? Oh, yeah, that's right. Healed after battle. I'm just derping all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> I even hit the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, let's just go to the other side. Um, I don't really think there's anything of importance over here. Like, you can go all around this thing, but I don't really think there's anything all that special. I mean, you'd be able to see on the other side, you know, from looking at it from a distance, if there's anything special down these uh, little rivers or off to the sides or anything like that. But you can fully explore this area, I suppose, if you would like to. Uh, it looks like that there would be a lot lot of stuff just hidden here, like, like that you could pick up in the water or something like that, but no, no, not really. <laughs> there we go. And that even over here, um, I don't think there's even any hidden blocks around this area. It's just like a very large area of practically nothing. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I had to jump just as soon as I touched the ground. Alright. Alright, let's just go in. And tackle the puzzles within. Well, that's an atmosphere change. Uh, Goombella is really helpful here because of the puzzles. How could there be such a huge tower on the ground? And why was it built? There seem to be a lot of rooms here. And every one contains a riddle. So, let's start out with this. I don't remember which... Uh, rooms contain which things? Uh, beyond, 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 complete all seven before, before. So, this is likely the last one. Eh. If I recall correctly, so I'm going to leave that one for later. Figures the one that I would pick first is the one that you do last. <laughs> Alright, what do we have in here? Two blocks? Oh, this is joined with another room. Four stones, twin stones, master of shadow and dark. Two are one, one is two. So, um, we've got these blocks right here. Can't do anything about them, but if you smash this block, there's an equivalent block in another room that's actually a metal block, that like the one that I couldn't smash here. But when you smash the block here, what'll happen is that the metal block will disappear in the other room and vice versa. So, you, so you've got to like trade off between rooms to solve the puzzles of those rooms. I don't remember where the adjacent room is to that one though offhand. I'm just gonna kind of wing it here. Um, this is the one you pass through the wall. All you see isn't all there be. Stones have power of stars. Touch it to pass through it. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> I remember that one. And this gives you a dark treasure chest of doom. <laughs> Palace key. Seven more to go. Something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say there's something fishy about the wall here. Uh, maybe we ought to investigate. That's why she's really handy to have out in this place, because she can um, uh, give you hints on top of the hints that are in each of these rooms. Alright, this isn't the room with the blocks. Uh oh, invisible. The unseen may yet be felt, so that we, the great ones, be it here, be it there, something tells me it's a flurry room. Is it a flurry room? It is indeed a flurry room. Key number two. Palace key, yeah. 
Alright, back to Goombella. Just in case. <laughs> um, I think there might be some battles to be had around here. Maybe? Might be? Um, if you go all the way up to the top, this is where... Um, Mario, look at that! It's the Milky Way! Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's totally huge! What is it, you think? Hmm. Hmm. Eh. I want to talk to the pedestal. Oh, I can't. Um, so, as you can tell, there's probably nothing that you can do in this room at the moment in time. What am I saying probably for? I know there's nothing you can do at this moment in time. <laughs> so let's start out by going through the second layer. Well, this is actually like mid... Not start out. <laughs> oh god. Dark bones. Eh. Let fall the weakest and that the skies lie and build to the strongest. Um, which, con which is considered the weakest? Probably the... The dull bones. Got a, so yeah, there are battles in here. Forgot about this room. Alright, just defeat them by uh, order of toughness. I think it's going to be dull bones, uh, red bones, dry bones, and dark bones. Because I think they're referring to um, stats-wise. Oh, don't want to battle. Wait, actually. Um, shouldn't I... Uh, Bobbery. These are bone. Oh, pff, poopers. These are bone enemies we're talking about here, so yeah. Alright, so 5 HP. Yeah, just think, this was a mini boss of the um, first dungeon in the game. <laughs> I should say first main dungeon of the game. Yeah. And now we're just wiping it out in a single turn. Yeah. Oh, and that's also what I meant that uh, the red bones, uh, where you can get the tattle from the red bones, if you miss the tattle, despite being able to get the tattle of the red bones in Frankly's garbage can, for whatever reason. <laughs> Alright. Mm, yeah. Well, let's chip away the HP, I suppose. Wait, actually. Uh, there's only one of them, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. And finish it. There we go. And now, the dark bones of doom. <laughs> On the coins. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I want a first strike, if at all possible. Because it's got a lot of HP. Yep. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so. Please don't build any buddies. <laughs> Alright, let's do a piercing blow. Very nice. And just a regular bomb. <clears throat> I'm just gonna try and conserve my stats here so I don't have to go back to the healing block. Piercing blow! There we go. Good. Very good, in fact. And that should do it. Yep. You just had to defeat the bone enemies in the order of weakest to strongest. And that was it. Ooh, spooky chest. Alright, here we go. Palace key. What are these palace keys used for? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, here's the equivalent room. Alright, so... Remember the block that I smashed on the other side? That This would have been... there. I mean, a metal block would have been here if the... Uh, um, if I would have left the stone block in the other room. 
I wonder if I should just finish off um, that room puzzle right right here and now before I forget which room it is <laughs> then I'll be able to finish off the uh, uh, bottom layer as well well aside from the the room that you got to defeat all the I mean the seven other rooms first in and whatnot all right so now the metal block is gone here pass that away and now hitting that switch which we now have access to because we opened it up on the other side gives us a treasure chest and that treasure chest as you probably guessed contains a palace key all right back up to the other floor and to that other room i think the rooms are actually right above each other you know the rooms that are um uh connected to each other i think like wasn't it this room that had the uh, block puzzle? Yeah, it is. And this one now just pops the chest right out. By the way, what does this sign say? Four stones, twin stones, can live again by the stone. Two are one, one is two. So it sounds like the same thing as the other one. Alright, palace key. There we go. Let's keep going around in a circle clockwise to this one right here and what is this straight on straight onward we know the stars spurn us destroy all in your path all right yeah <laughs> guess I have better memory of these rooms than I thought I did <laughs> all right another key before me uh, I got six keys, right? I think. What am I asking you for? You can't tell me. Well, you'll tell me after this video uploads, but it'll be too late by then. <laughs> the shy one hides his shape, but the stars bring balance. The shy one hides his face. What? Do they mean Vivian? Eh. Yep. it's possible to hit that block and end up over here where the chest is. I don't think it is, based on the jump trajectory and whatnot. Anyway, there's a palace key. And... Now... Um, that's seven, right? Is it seven? I think it's seven. So that means... This room will be accessible, I guess. Mm. Mm. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Complete all seven before, before. Uh, hold on, I just want to see. Did I forget? No, I got seven keys. How about I... Mm. Uh, seven? Seven? <laughs> uh, hmm. I reset the room here. Maybe the words actually mean how many times you're supposed to hit the block? Like, beyond, beyond, beyond might mean three. One, two, three, and then two here? It is! Okay! I didn't know which order I was supposed to do the three and two. I was going to try um, three and then two and then three and two on that side because I, did, I didn't know what they meant by beyond the, or before. But in any case, there is the last palace key. Now, what do you do with said palace keys? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't get the star key yet, did I? Gotta go back. <laughs> Actually, looking at the time, it's probably a good idea to end off the part here. Since I got all the keys in a single part, keep it nice and organized, and finish it up in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Still such a beautiful area in such an evil place.